Wow. Um, ooh, that was definitely an experience. Black Klansman is the latest joint from Spike Lee and stars John David Washington, Adam Driver, Laura Harrier, Topher Grace, and is pretty much based off the autobiography of Ron Stallworth as he was working as an undercover detective in Colorado Springs infiltrating their chapter of the Ku Klux Klan. And yeah, that's, that's the whole plot of the movie. And Man, is it something that I didn't expect. When I saw the trailers for this, I thought, okay, this could be very amusing, very entertaining. I didn't know anything about Ron Stallworth or this little piece of history and what went on back then, but I was looking forward to this movie because I love the trailer so much. And the best part about watching a movie that you're looking forward to is not only when a movie basically delivers on everything you want, but it gives you more. And Black Klansman is definitely a prime example of that. It is just a great movie all around. This is right now one of my favorite movies of the year. I absolutely love it. One thing I really love about this movie is how it approaches the subject matter about the Ku Klux Klan, racism, but it does it in a very amusing way where it's not preachy all of the time. I mean, there are points where it is, but it manages to entertain you along the way. Uh, this movie is just downright funny. It has a lot of situations where it's a bunch of character interactions and it works really well. Uh, and I gotta say, this also made me really hate Django Unchained even more because I'm one of the few people that despises Django Unchained. I probably have talked about this beforehand, but that movie was trying to say something about slavery. And anytime that movie threw around the N-word, it just felt too exploitative. And there are just a ton of moments where it plays out like a slapstick comedy. And it's also way too damn long. So I just didn't think it worked all too well. It was just a hollow shell, to be honest. I hate that movie. But what Black Klansman does is that it's actually based off a real event. And none of the comedy takes you away from the film's message and what it's trying to say. It feels very natural. The performances from everyone is just outstanding as well. I've never seen John David Washington before, but he is Denzel Washington's son and he is really good. This is the first movie I've ever seen him in. And the whole time I just kept thinking, who is this guy? He is just, he is an excellent performer. And with the character of Ron Stallworth, you admire his determination, you admire how far he's willing to go to get something done, and you just admire his charm and charisma. And the other actor that I really love in this movie is Adam Driver. I've always loved Adam Driver, even outside of Kylo Ren. And he plays another undercover detective who actually has to go and face the clan because the real Ron Stallworth is talking to the clan over the phone, so you actually can't have the real Ron Stallworth go meet the clan face to face, otherwise he get killed. But Adam Driver gives another great performance, and the chemistry that he has with John David Washington is great, and even the chemistry he has with some of the other clan members, how he's supposed to be undercover, he's supposed to be racist, he's supposed to be all about white power. He does a really great job, and there are a few points where I kind of forgot that he was supposed to be undercover. He was that good. And then you have the villains, which are just downright despicable. Maybe to a cartoonish level, because all the members of the clan are pretty much types. You have the calm leader who's trying to be very civilized, but you know he's a horrible person. You have the fat idiot who might be mentally challenged. And then you have the loose cannon with the character of Felix. And I gotta say, Felix, every time he was on screen, I felt a nervous energy. Not just for Ron Stallworth, but also for Adam Driver's character. And it's just really nerve-wracking to watch him on screen. Now, I really love this movie, but the only problem I have, and it's a tiny nitpick, I wasn't a big fan of the way the movie ended. Now, I understand what Spike Lee was trying to do with the way he ended the movie, and without saying too much, it's important that the movie ends this way, just to kind of remind everyone how what happened back then is starting to rear its ugly head into the present day but I felt like the way they incorporated it, or the execution, could have been a little better. Because the film's message is showing that these series of events back in 1979 are starting to play a role into today's society where we, by all means, should not accept them. So again, I do understand why Spike Lee decided to end the movie the way he did. I just felt the execution could have been a little better, but 
That's all I have to say. Uh, Black Klansman is not only a great social commentary, but it's also entertaining from beginning to end. Uh, it's got great characters, the humor really works, but it's also very dramatic, very thrilling. One of the most powerful movies I've seen this year. So I definitely say get off your ass and go see it right now because I think it is that much of an important movie that everybody should see. And if things keep going the way they are, this is gonna stick around in my top three. I don't see this movie leaving my personal top 10 best of list, but right now it is in the top three of my favorite movies of the year. And that's my review for Black Klansman. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Did you see the movie? Did you enjoy it? What are some of your favorite Spike Lee movies? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and of course leave a comment. Don't forget to support my Patreon page, follow me on social media. And until next time, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one.